Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm gonna to talk to you about my top five low post basketball drills that you can run yourself if you're a center or if you're just a guard or a forward who wants to become better and stronger in the low post. So this first drill I'm gonna show you is going to really work on your legs. Basically, we're gonna start underneath the basket. This is not gonna be just a low post drills for your skills, that kind of thing. What this is gonna be is not just for skills, but also for strength. So you can work on your core, you can work on your legs. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start here, you're gonna squat down, you're gonna jump up, touch the mesh, you're gonna bounce once, and then you're gonna go up for your layup. Now, right now I'm using the regular basketball, but you can also use a heavier medicine ball, like a six or eight pound medicine ball. If you're a later high school and you're really in shape, you can even use up to a 12 or even 14 pound medicine ball if you can find them. Uh, I would suggest the ones that bounce. The reason for that is because if you get like a sand one and it goes through and you don't catch it in time and it hits the ground, it gets all hard and crappy. So get the ones that bounce. Links to those are gonna be in the description as well. And give me two seconds, I'm gonna go get my heavy basketball and I'll talk to you about that. So now I've got my heavy basketball so I can get a little bit better of a workout. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna squat down, we're gonna jump up, you're gonna go one bounce, up. You're gonna squat down, up, bounce, and then up for your layup. And you're, what you're gonna do is 10 to 15 if you're just a beginner on each side. And then you're gonna take a rest. You're gonna take a 30 second rest. Then you're gonna get back down here. You're gonna do it all over again. Jump up, bounce, up with the left. You're gonna do that again for 10 to 15 times on each side. Now, if you are experienced or you're stronger, you're grade 12, you're college, adult, whatever, you could do that 20, 30 times on each side. Take a 30 second or a one a minute break, and then you can go and do it again. You're gonna do this for three sets. Now this next drill is not a physical drill really at all. This is not gonna work on any kind of cardio. It's not gonna work on any kind of like weightlifting workout. Basically what you're gonna do right along the whole length of the baseline is work on your footwork. So you're gonna start feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna go up for your shot. You're gonna come back down. You're gonna pivot. Shot up, back down, pivot. Shot up, back down, pivot. Now, if you want, you can even add in a little bit of a squat. So you can go squat down, up, pivot, squat down, up, and pivot. Now, if you're going to do the squat, don't use a regular basketball. Use a medicine ball. Uh, use a heavy basketball trainer, whatever it may be. But this is going to work on your footwork so that when you get down to the low post and you get that ball, you're going to be able to pivot quicker. Now, on that drill, the faster you do it, the faster your pivots are gonna be in the real game. So even though that's a very simple drill, you're gonna be able to go really quickly towards the basket and pivot as fast as possible. This can even help guards if you're on the perimeter and you have somebody on your back, let's say he's guarding you on this side, and you just wanna pivot quick and drive, that's gonna be able to get you quicker and stronger at doing those pivots. Now this third drill I'm gonna show you has to be done with either a heavy trainer or with a heavier medicine ball. Again, one that bounces because you're gonna be bouncing the ball here. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna be simulating in-game movements. However, you're gonna be doing it with a heavier basketball or a medicine ball. This is gonna help your upper body get a lot stronger. So we're gonna start with just easy drop steps. You're gonna go bang and then up. Then you're gonna to go to the other side you're gonna do the exact same thing. And then, once you've done 10 on each side that are makes, what you're gonna do is now catch that ball, you're gonna pivot, and you're gonna take that jump shot. Now, if you're taking a jump shot, make sure that if you're using a medicine ball, you're getting one that you can actually put up without changing your form. That's why a heavy basketball, a heavy trainer basketball, is a really good idea. This is not a sponsored video at all, however, these are double the weight of a regular basketball, while medicine balls are much, much heavier. So you don't wanna be going up and really like struggling with it. You wanna go up like your regular shot. So now this, this fourth basketball drill, what you can do is use a regular basketball if you're younger, or if you're not as, uh, as strong in the low post, or if you're a little bit stronger, if you're older, you can use a medicine ball or again, a heavy basketball. 
And what we're going to do, we're going to start in our regular spot. We're going to start a bit farther out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to have the ball straight to our chest. We're going to go down into a squat. We're going to jump up. We're going to pivot. And then we're going to go up for a shot. So for me, I, use this, I usually use the second hash mark, or technically the first hash mark past the block. Spin the ball to myself, get it tight to my chest, go down for a squat, jump up, pivot, go up for that shot. Now when you're doing your squat jump, you're going to try and jump as high as you can. And you're going to do it 10 to 15 times on each side. You're going to take a little bit of a break, and you're going to do it for another two more times. Your break should be about 30 seconds. And all you're really doing, tight to the chest, down, squat, jump up, bang. And if you miss, like I just did, that's totally fine. You have to do it again. Now in this fifth and final drill, this is called the Mike and Drill. I've showed this on this channel a few different times. And all you're gonna do for 30 seconds, if you miss, that's totally okay. You're gonna go up. You're not gonna let it touch the ground. You're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Now the idea behind this is to get used to that backboard. I would actually do this drill before every single game so that you can get used to the rim, get used to the backboard, and then you're all set for your game, you're all set for your practice, and it's a great workout. Anyways, I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.